hey guys today i'll show you how i make my half cakes or kangumu for those who know that or maybe in kenya and i hope you're beautiful and uh, you're having a lovely sunday so first of all you have to place your flour on a, um, a basin and then one tablespoon of baking soda so i'm gonna mix one tablespoon of baking soda and then i'm gonna mix half tablespoon of baking soda so that is my dry ingredient and then the last thing that i'm going to add here is sugar one cup of sugar or mm, a quarter of sugar so this is the cup that i normally use to measure my sugar and then i'm gonna pour in because you want your cakes to be sweet i'm gonna pour in some people normally do this process um at the last stage when the hair cakes are ready and then they're gonna i don't know they cook or salt sugar with water and then they go ahead and dip the cakes inside but for me i don't like to eat like raw salt sugar so i prefer adding my dry ingredients together so at this point i'm going to mix them together as you can see make sure that the particles remains fine okay so you're gonna try to smoothen with your hand and mix properly okay mix them together as you can see uh, while i'm doing this i'm finding some you know some hard particles of sugar and that's why i prefer using my hand so that i can break them and smooth them so break and smooth so at this point i'm done mixing uh, all my dry ingredients so it's time for me to start uh knitting my dove but uh in this stage most people normally use normally use what you call margarine or some people go for blue bank but for me because i'm doing it's just a homemade homemade thing i'm gonna use just oil okay just normal oil okay so you can use a normal oil or you can use water don't think too much it's homemade right so because it's homemade just improvise you don't need like to have all the right ingredients and then now you want to mix the oil again until it's fine you know make this um what do you call them ball party holes you know to be fine so you want to repeat the same process that you repeat you did with the dry ingredients this is the oil you can see the oil now you want to uh, repeat uh, mixing 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 at this point you can see that i've mixed everything well so i'm going to start adding water but again be careful with the amount of water that you pour because you don't want your dough to be too soft basically not even too soft you don't want your dough to be soft so we want our dough to be hard because it's used to we are making cake we're not making chapatis or mandazi so your your dough should be hard okay so now we start knitting the dough fast forward you can see that i'm done knitting my dove and my dove is not soft and it's not too hard you see i can lift it you saw you see nothing is there at the basin and then right now i have to leave it to sit for like 10 10 to 15 minutes for it to rise before we start cooking so please stay back till the end of this video and if you have not subscribed you you have not subscribed please kindly kindly darling consider subscribing and mash that notification bell mm, go to the comment section tell me what you think about this video and uh, what video you would like me to make for you and uh, the most important remember to share and subscribe to my channel so right now our duff is ready and now we want to roll and then cut and then uh, into uh, cut the sizes that you want and then start cooking so we are going to cut so for easy what do you call it for easy rolling divide into two and then put this back and then i'll roll this Go. so right now i'm going to cut into my desirable sizes uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then i want this to be three so one and then here it's okay So as you can see, that's why I told you that your dove should be hard. You know, when you make, um, what do you call it? When you make like soft dove, it will be so hard to, uh, what do you call it? To, to you know, to cut it or rather to, yeah, to cut and also to dove. To, to do what? Oh my goodness, what am I even saying? To cut or rather to roll. Yeah, that's the correct term. So as you can see, so right now I'm going to prepare my... So right now I'm going to dip my 
um, I'm going to dip them in the oil. The oil should not be hot because if the oil is hot, it means that our mandazi won't cook inside. Well. Sorry, our cakes won't cook inside well. So you have to put when the oil is not that hot. One more. This place is still available. Yeah. Yeah. So we wait for a mandazi to uh, turn brown, and then once it's brown, you turn again. You flip on the other side, and then wait for some minutes to turn brown, and that is it. So please stay and uh, till the end of the result. Yep. <laughs> At this point, I'm done with the first bunch, so I'm going to turn off my gas because at uh, this point you can see the oil is so hot, so we have to cool the oil for us to re re do it, repeat the same process. If you put your cakes when the oil is too hot, hot it means that uh, your cakes won't uh, be well cooked inside, you see? It won't be well cooked inside. So the oil should be cold, like cold. Would you, low, low, like low heated. They also be, should be low heated, and then you place them, and then you let the oil heat as uh, you've already dipped your uh, cakes. So please uh, wait. Um, we are going to wait for another two minutes, and then start the whole process again. We're gonna repeat, repeat the same process. You see, the oil is not hot. So my people, we are done and these are the final products. Look how beautiful they look. Look how beautiful they look. So my dear, you can always make your cakes at home, at the comfort of your home. You don't need all those uh, ingredients that they normally say i don't know you add half quarter three quarter most of the time i do get confused when i hear add a quarter of this add a quarter of this so this is a it's a very simple uh, procedure of how you can make your mandazi so it's time to test let's see how what's the final product products from inside right so i'm gonna test one